Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Celica Rebuild. We got the Celica ready. We're about to pop the hood because um, we're about to take the engine out. And we got the tools right here. And we got a box so we can put some of the parts that we take out, put them inside the box. But the car's ready. We're about to pop the hood and start taking the engine out. There's a guy that uh, I met online. Um, he was interested in the engine, so we went ahead and uh, sold it to him. So right now we just have to take it out so that he can come and pick it up. Um, he gave me a deposit already, so it's 100% that he's coming to get it. He, he seems to be very happy because he has a pickup truck that he's working on also. I think it's a Toyota Hilux, uh, 70 and some change, maybe 76. I think I don't remember the exact uh, 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 year, but he's about to put this 20R engine in his Hilux. And we don't know what we're going to put on this car. Um, but we were thinking beams, 3SGE, um, but we're also thinking maybe a 1UZ engine. So we haven't really decided, but that's going to be for a later episode. But right now we're going to start taking the engine out.
so we took uh, some of the coolant out. We couldn't continue taking the rest because this pan is too too small, so we had to stop. And we put it we put it in this uh, empty uh, soap container, and we're about to continue taking more of the coolant out. Coolant came out really green, which means that the rebuild was done right, and that uh, we cleaned the block because the block was rusted. You can see that on one, one of my uh, previous videos on the time lapse of the engine rebuild. You can see all the rust that I you know took out of of the block because I kind of. Uh, scrubbed it really good with some thin wire brushes in between the the coolant pa uh, passages and the ports uh, and that was pretty good that I did because if not this coolant would have came out all orange or dirty and it came out super green like if it's new so that's a, that's a plus we're going to continue training the coolant out. take the AC compressor we're not gonna take the AC compressor completely off because uh, I don't have a reco like I don't have a what do you call it to recover the refrigerant uh, on it so I'm gonna wait on that for for another video or later so we're just gonna take it uh, from the bracket and move it to the side maybe here where the battery tray goes and then we're gonna work on taking the intake out uh, with the entire carburetor and all these vacuum lines and everything all together so that the guy that bought the engine, when he wants to put it inside his, uh, his uh, pickup truck, he doesn't have to worry about connecting all those hoses. Maybe just a couple of them, but not the entire hoses. So let's get on. We're gonna take it out now. I think this one's in. Is it a 10? No, 12? No. The, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the tensioner? I think it's the tensioner. Let's see.
Okay, so we got this loose. You say, Lori? Now we just gotta take the belt out. We got the belt. And we're gonna push everything to the side. We're gonna remove these bolts right here so we don't lose them. There goes the bracket. I'm gonna push this right here. So now we got a little more space to take out the to take out the what do you call it? The radiator and the, the intake. So this engine looks new. I'm so proud of this rebuild. Came out really nice. Even the brackets we painted. Check it out, guys. Even the brackets are like painted, look, they look new. We painted them in a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's the name of this paint? The gunmetal gray finish paint and then put in an oven to cure. So that's why you can see that it barely scratched because we did a good job on the paint. So all of this is going to a new owner. All right guys, my son's gearing up right now. It's his turn. He's gonna take out this, uh, I don't even know the name of this, but it's part of the vacuum system, a California compliant vacuum system. It goes from here with this uh, hose, actually, yeah, so this hose, and uh, I think the hose on the bottom, this one right here. So you can see this hose right here. Tighten right here, goes down goes around and back there behind this thing on the bottom so we don't have to worry about that anymore all right larry i don't know the size of it larry but you see a bolt right here back there it's a long bolt you see it yeah all right that's all you know, man Another thing we could have done is just taking the hose off and leaving that there. We pulled it out with the engine, but it's okay. We'll take the whole thing out. Let's see if I can get a shot from underneath. Next purchase, I think, before the light layer is gonna be another camera. <laughs> Cause I, I'm using the phone to record all these video guys. So, you know, did the screw came out? No. Uh, maybe before the camera, you should buy a camera stand. There you go. I think first the camera, cause where are you gonna stand it on? I mean, what are you gonna stand on the stand if you don't have a phone? Cause we're already taking turns. <laughs> All right, so uh, we couldn't get the bolt out. You guys can see down there. Uh, let's see. You can see, oh, the bolt, you push it back in. So we can't take the, the bolt out because it's too long. So Larry's removing the radiator shroud um, to make some space, at least to move it to the side. All right, guys. So we took out, we took out uh, that piece. Uh, watch how you put my eye there. We took we took that. Uh, what is, I don't even know the name of that thing, but it's for the California compliant uh, vacuum setup. There, as complicated as complicated as California is always complicated. Look at how many vacuum lines 
That's why everybody opts out to go for a Weber car because you got too much shit going on and it makes it too complicated. So we're gonna take try to take all this whole assembly out and we're gonna take that whole assembly out basically so everything's gonna come out in one piece. It's gonna make it easier to for the new owner to know where everything is connected. So, Alright guys, let's get that one out. take out one screw so we can take this whole assembly out and I got the ratchet right here ready let's see the whole thing comes out you might have to tap it We still have this hose right here. This clamp right here. Oh, this should be easy. Let's get a rag so we don't spill too much gas, alright? We gotta take this gas line right here. 
pause. Está grabando el gas, güey, no está grabando abajo. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Hijo el cielo, güey. Gas, right here. Exactly every vacuum line. I bought 30 feet of, uh, of line, and thanks to actually thanks to to Matt from one of the groups. Um, I'm gonna give him a plug because he did help me out a lot. Uh, I, I don't remember how you pronounce your uh, last name, Matt. Ca Casaragua, Casaragua, something like that. Casara, Casaragua. Um, but thanks, Matt, for uh, hooking up the. You gave me, uh, a couple of years back, you gave me three uh, 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 schematics of, of the, where all the, each and every little holes uh, in the vacuum system went, and kudos to that, man, because you really helped me out. And thanks to the guys in the Celica group, too, that, you know, that, that come through any time that I need any help, they always, you know, they're there to help me out, so I appreciate every, each and every one of you. Uh, but yeah, it, it was a... It's kind of hard to see me taking everything apart because it's a lot of work that was put into putting it together. But that's that's how it goes in these uh, these builds and these swaps. So I know I'm gonna be happier when we put in that new engine in there. So thank you guys and uh, let's continue taking more stuff up. It looks like we're we're doing good um, for the engine to come out. We just need to uh, unplug basically like the. The har some parts of the harness that are plugged in, um, a distributor and all that stuff is super easy. And maybe start loosening up the bolts or the, 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 call it the nuts on the, on the motor mounts and the transmission cross member and uh, the drive shaft. And this engine should be coming up. So thank you guys for sticking around. Give us a like and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> That helps a lot, believe it or not. I only have like 14 subscribers, I think, on the channel. So if you guys subscribe and help me out, I, you know, it, it, it gives us more energy so we can bring more videos. So, subscribe. <laughs> All right, guys, so check this out, man. I wish we could maybe, Larry, can you light me up with your cell phone in there? See if we can inspect this real quick. I want to make sure that looks clean looks clean as hell the gasket's still there we're gonna put some uh, some uh, masking tape just to cover these holes um, make sure that nothing gets in there oh look a little vacuum line all right so, you see the holder there you go the valves look all right look at my stuff. you can see them from here but the cam i can't see them on the cam Let's see. It looks clean, dude. Like super clean. Yeah. You look dirty. Oh, the gasket ripped right there. That's not good. But I think I have an extra gasket I might give. But anyway, guys, this is what um, it looks like on this side. Make sure none of that falls inside the engine. We're gonna put masking tape right now. Uh, Just temporarily. 
early, a couple of days. Make sure we don't get a rodent, an animal. Everything up. But yeah. Check this out guys. Oh those parts are not from the side. Alright, so check this out. We took some of the engine out. Alright, we I think we're pretty good to take the entire thing out. We just need to take the exhaust manifold where it ties in right here. We're gonna put some WD-40 and let it soak. Um, we need to, those uh, engine mount bolts right there. We need to loosen those up, one on each side. Uh, we're gonna take the entire engine with the transmission all together. So we got the intake holes plugged in. Make sure no animals go in there, no rodents. We have a, another uh, uh, screw right there, I mean bolt that we have to take out right there. But the dipstick's in the way. So we're gonna try to do it without removing the dipstick. And um, yeah, that's where we're at guys. So next video, you guys are gonna see this engine bay. We're gonna start stripping the engine bay out, cleaning everything that we're gonna, gonna remove. And then the rest, whatever we're gonna keep on the car, to kind of re retrofit it with the other engine that we want to put in, we're just gonna leave it there. And um, yeah, well that's where we're at, guys. So in the next, catch you on the next video. We're gonna, you're gonna see this engine's already gonna be out and make space for the new one. Larry, you got anything to say? So we check out. Got the WD-40 ready. Yeah. And um, Larry's happy because finally his engine's gonna come out and a newer, new one and more powerful one is gonna come in so and then we're gonna worry about the body work the body like there's a lot of rust you know little surface rust these cars have rust everywhere um, we're gonna try to try to clean all that up uh, body work is gonna be a little bit further down the line we're still you know on the tearing stuff up stage so check us out on the next video guys that's it for today. See you on the next video. Please subscribe. Help us out. Peace. Little bonus shot, guys. My son taking out the, the engine uh, nuts. Engine mount nuts. Se cayó un... Yeah. Dale. All right, guys, start to give you that little bonus footage right there. Those two nuts are giving us a fucking headache, but we're getting them out. Thanks to that ratchet that we, I mean, uh, yeah, that ratchet that we found. It's a little bit longer, a little bit more torque on, on the arm instead of those little, you know, uh, wrenches that we were using. But yeah, little extra footage that it all looks easy on camera, but when you put the camera down and you're working, it's a little bit. How's those muscles going there? A click at a time. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys. See you on the next video. Peace.